in the next one hour, I'm going to write an entire song and then perform it to you. So, the only prep that I've had is I have made a storyline. I'm going to share with you. This is all I've got so far. The lighthouse on an island is going to kind of symbolize. Symbolize. Sim, sim, symbolize. Symbolize. Why does that weird word sound weird? Symbolizes isolation slash solitude, and it's kind of like a metaphor for transformation slash guidance. Um, so she sets sail on a journey through a storm to reach civility. Is that even the right word? And then finds herself in a new life but misses the parts of her old lighthouse life. And I've come up with the name Elara for her. Because I kind of like the name Clara and then I was like, um, seems like a little bit too common. So, I thought, <laughs> just change the first letter. So. We're writing a song about Alara from living in a lighthouse. Yeah. <laughs> my instrument of to choice today is my ukulele. But I'm thinking I just go for like a basic chord progression. Like maybe I just do like a D C. Chord progression just sounds too basic for my idea. I don't know if it's matching the vibe. But I feel like it's better to do do just stay with a basic progression. Because I don't really have time to like make an entire thing. So I want to spend most of my time like working on the lyrics. not good at playing ukulele by the way if you couldn't tell like I'm horrendous at keeping a rhythm that's why I stick to singing anyway it's important that you see how cute my ukulele strap is by the way like just look at this thing it's so freaking adorable so, Ilara. I don't even know how to open the song. Like, um, I want to set the scene. Starry eyes in the Everybody's Alexa watching all those fireflies. Once I get into the flow, it will flow really easy, but I'm not in the flow right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm having to force the ideas too much. So I'm gonna keep playing the same melody over and over again and then I'm gonna come back to you when I have a brilliant idea. Okay, so we've made progress. My timer is currently at 49 minutes and 13 seconds. So I'm doing really well. There's a world out there where no one dares to go. A lock for where's the key? Must be miles at sea. I want to say something like, I'm trying to think of a way to be like, is she going to be the one that dares to do it? The lighthouse leads to civility. That works better with the storyline. And lock the where's the key? Must be miles out sea. The lighthouse leads. I need to Google what the word civility means because I feel like I don't know. 
What does the word civility mean? What's a way of saying people? Um, oh, I feel like humanity is the word that I was looking for. Light beams to humanity. Um, can I write that in for now? Maybe I'll change it. I don't love it. But time's cracking on and I haven't even got a chorus yet. I'm feeling something fun for the chorus. I'm not normally like a pop song person, like I don't normally like to re like repeat the chorus words. But <laughs> hear me out. Um Lighthouse, lighthouse, leave me there. Leave me across the open air. I like it. I like it. As cringe as it is, I like it. We have a chorus, ladies and gents. Repeat, we have a chorus. Are you ready? It came to me. One, two, three, four. Lighthouse, lighthouse, take me there. Lead me through the open air. Solemn silence, no passing stairs. Lighthouse, please take we get the point but I actually hadn't played it up with the ukulele till that point so I'm glad it fit I think it works I think I'm gonna keep it didn't even think about like what structure I was gonna make this song kind of just going with it I think the next part is where she ventures into the sea like I feel like we've alluded enough at this point that she is like gonna go out into the ocean. I feel like it's not obvious enough that it's about like a transformation sort of thing yet. So that is to be worked on. <laughs> I've got 18 minutes left on my timer. Let's see if we can do this. <laughs> it's still not quite finished. I've got to the end of the bridge but I've missed out half of the story. So I haven't been thinking about the tense that I've been writing in, but my thought process is I wanted it to be from the perspective of Ilara, but then in the choruses it's kind of seeing it from her point of view. So the verses are like Ilara is feeling this way and then the chorus is like I'm Ilara, kind of like singing it from her perspective. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Like normally I'm like strict of like, it's all got to be in one tenth, but I feel like it works with it being like um like a sea, sea anthem kind of thing. Like it's like she's at sea. So I feel like it makes sense of like the echo of like it's coming back into a different tense. But I have finished the entire song with 11 minutes and 39 seconds to spare. So I'm very fucking happy about that. Uh, I'm just going to spend the remaining 11 minutes rehearsing the song and make sure there's like no bits that I want to change or that like don't fit. I have two minutes and a half until the one hour is up. I always find it so hard to title things unless I start with the title. Hmm. Got a minute left, right. Okay. <laughs> Seeing as there's a minute left until I'm going to perform this song for you, let me just explain why my thoughts of this video came about. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I am trying to, like, I've got a lot of music goals this year, um, so I was trying to think of a way that I could, like, kind of incorporate my music into my videos, um, and I actually just found the songwriting process is so beautiful, and, like, without being too cringe, like, it is, like, just such an awesome process, like, being creative and like because I feel like songwriting does come quite naturally to me like I'm really lucky that like things kind of just pour out like they're not always great let's be real this song might be absolutely rubbish to anybody else but like to me like that's something that I've just created and like I fully just encourage you to Hang on. 
when our is up. But yeah, I fully encourage you to create something and like just be creative. There's a quote from Taylor Swift, sorry. I'm a big Swifty, but... <laughs> okay, so this is the, the Taylor Swift quote that I'm referring to. Do not let anything stop you from making art. Just make things. Do not get so caught up in this that it stops you from making art. Or if you need to, make art about this. But never stop making things. Do not let anything stop. And I just think that kind of resonates with me a lot because it's hard to like feel like everybody's judging you, especially when like you're pouring your heart out on in songs. Because like every song that people write is like a piece of them. So it's easier it's easy to get caught up in like that, but I don't know. Yeah. Just food for thought. <laughs> anyway, now you get to hear the full song. This is my one hour song. Lighthouse, take me there. Starry eyes Counting miles of fireflies In love and knows There's a world out there Where no one dares to go The logbook was the key must be miles of sea Light beams lead to humanity Lighthouse, lighthouse, take me there Lead me to the open air Solemn silence, no passing stairs Lighthouse, please take me there Something so out of line It floods to pieces one by one And then one breath And suddenly she's gone The logbook was the key Must be miles of sea Light beams lead to humanity Lighthouse, lighthouse, take me there Lead me through the open air Solemn silence, no passing stairs Lighthouse, please take me there Starry eyes, now this butterflies Washed up long song, but there's magic in the air that perfect but I'm very proud of my little one hour song if you would actually like me to record the actual song then let me know in the comments because I fully will do a more perfected version um yeah and maybe I can even record the recording process but yeah if you'd like me to record the song properly and like release it then let me know because I totally will um yeah <laughs> thank you for coming along on this songwriting journey and please subscribe if you're new because I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers in one month so please help me <laughs> but for now thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye